I got told that I had Matt Hughes Wednesday before we flew out. All my other fights, I've always had a whole eight weeks or six weeks or whatever to prepare. So you uh, sort of got to rush everything into like one thing. Like I didn't have my safe MMA, so I had to go and get that and like like get the sparring in quickly, make sure I was fit enough. But it, it worked out okay, so if I get flown to Dubai again, yeah, I'll take another short notice fight. This fight just come up and I was fit because of because of there was a lot of, lot of the other guys fighting on different shows, so I was in sparring anyway, so and I, I don't, I might get a little bit fat, like in between fights, like put on the pounds, but I, I never... I never have more than three days unless I've really been ironed out, like been bashed up, um, like off for of training. So I'm always in training, like for like constantly throughout the year. So I don't really have, I don't really have too much of a dip or too much of a peak, like fitness-wise. I'm always in relatively fit shape. So I suppose that's a bonus. It allows me to take like a short notice fight. Man. To be honest, like highlight of my MMA career so far. Like, I had, you know, flown out, flown out fighting in a different country. Like, got a day in Dubai. Like after the fight, you know, don't tell Mason, but like, big honour to fight on the undercard to my head coach. Like his main event. Like so, I had my fight. Walked back in, warmed him up, and then cornered him for his fight. And we both got a win. Then I both got a day in Dubai. And, Probably the best best time I've had in MMA so far. If you ask all the teammates, absolute worst nightmare. Like my worst nightmare in the whole of MMA is to get stuffed up against the fence and get bored out for three rounds. Like because like obviously he's got a game plan. He was just trying to take me down and like like pound me out or whatever. But, I didn't feel in danger of him taking me down at all. But he did manage to squash me up against the fence for the whole round. So my corner just said, look, if you're gonna wrestle, make sure you wrestle with him out in the middle. So you know, it worked, good advice to stay down in the middle. And they said just sprawl a little earlier. So like don't let him run to the cage. So I sprawled a bit quicker. Uh, got to finish, so good time. Swings and roundabouts, like you know, you you give a little bit maybe like in the weight department because obviously if they're cutting a lot of water, they're gonna walk in like a little heavier on the day. But I don't walk in, I don't walk in like particularly light. It's not like I walk in at like 73 kilos or something like that. I I get up into like the high 70s. So as as an effect to me so far. But, Like some bigger guys, like Matt Hughes was obviously bigger. Um, like to be fair, all the guys have been bigger. If I had my way, I'd fight a middleweight. But um, like, but Mason, he's got a team of midgets down here, so I don't think we got anyone above a welterweight. And I think that's Jack. Jack's the only welterweight we got. So even even with the whole team, the whole team, pros and the amateurs, like uh, I think. We've only got lightweights and like featherweights and bantamweights, that's it. So we've got a team of midgets, but um, I think I'll probably be at lightweight, but you know, it wasn't like Matt Hughes was a welterweight, I thought he was, you know, he was a big lightweight that, that um, and we agreed just to both fight because of the short notice, like upper weight division. So, but I, I think I'll st be staying at lightweight. Unless Mason lets me go up. Um, 
long term, I think if you're if you're serious, you, know, you want to be aiming to fight on the best shows in the world, obviously. So at this moment in time, the UFC is the best show in the world. So I I want to fight in the UFC eventually. It, it, uh, I know, like, uh, like things are looking up for UK MMA and that. So a lot, a lot of people when I first started fighting didn't think I'd, I'd get to this stage. You know what I mean? And they didn't think I'd fight. First of all, they thought oh, I had a couple of amateurs and then fought pro on UC MMA, like, which was one of like one of the things I never thought I'd do. And now I've just fought on cage warriors. Like, like I didn't think that would happen, maybe. So you, you want to go for the best. So like, you want to be in the UFC. What motivates me? Like, I don't know. I, I really enjoy the gym atmosphere, but like the, the teammates motivate me to get better and like keep going because like you got Jack who. Like, he's got a great work ethic and all that. Like, he, uh, you know, he installs that in the team. And then you've got, like, I've got Arnold and Coolidge, like, like the two pros. Like, Coolidge, absolute workhorse. Arnold's a knob. Um, but he's talented. And, like, they push you all the way. And then we've got, like, uh, like 20 other, like, amateur fighters. And they all want to go pro. So in a way, like they push me as well. So like, like you just got to keep going, I suppose. Keep trying to improve. Like, and it's uh, with the coaching staff we have. If you're not improving, like you are doing something wrong. So that's uh, so I suppose it's a bit cliched, but my team like drives me forward. They inspire me and stuff.